feel God up in here. Good afternoon, Sacramento and the world. Today we will be fertilizing our citrus trees. Um, so come along with me and join me as we do this very quickly. Stay tuned. And you are the hope that I can lean to. Good afternoon, Sacramento region and the world. This is NJ Kelly Gardner. We're back. I want to show you guys how to fertilize your citrus trees. So what I use is I use the EB Stone Organics and Zayas of Food Fertilizer. This is a 553. I brought purchases from my local nursery, Green Acres Nursery, and I place it all in this little three gallon bucket here. So it has in this product you can see, I'll show you guys what's in this product here. Let me just find it. And here we are. Blood meal, feather meal, bone meal, dry chicken manure, bat geno, alfalfa meal, cut meal, you get the drift. There you go. So very quickly, what I did was I took this product and I started scratching it in with my little tool here. And you want to do this when the, the first um, start of spring. I'm a little two days early. Um, March 20th is when we our spring um, begins here. But I wanted to come in while I had time to show you very quickly how to do this. And these little seeds, I believe, are pumpkins that I cut in half. Well, pump came from pumpkins that when I um, um a great fertilizer, a great nitrogen um fixer. If you don't next year or well, this year in the fall, collect pumpkins and use it in your soil, guys. It works. And it's bring up your uh, citrus trees and other vegetables back to life. So I did this. I scratched this in. Now I'm going to do it to my others. And then also, you can use this. Another GP on uh, this is GB Organics All-Purpose Fertilizer 323. A great fish emulsion and cut no liquid feed. You can use this bi-weekly, guys. I And you, some people say don't. Fertilize your citrus trees um, the whole year. I have been doing this, this since August, and my first citrus tree was this, just given to me from um, Organic's Best Urban Gardener, Martin Bouchard, Bouchard, and uh, it got damaged um, due to me not placing it in, in the uh, placing in the sun when I had uh, actually uh, transplanted to the three gallon pot into this pot you see here. And so I took off, um, today I took all the, uh, the mulch off so I can fertilize. That's why it looks like this right now. However, he's a great guy. Follow him, guys. Subscribe and like his to his page. He knows a lot about citrus and fruit trees and anything else you can think of. So follow him, guys. Anywho, I will continue to do this. And so all you want to do is take your product here, take a cap full, put it into your, your, um, your four gallon bucket or a gallon bucket, guys. And excuse the dog in the background, guys. This dog always brought me to my video. I don't get it. There's something wrong with them. Um, but just take a, a tablespoon of your um, liquid feed. And it's all you need for a gallon. This a gallon for each citrus tree you have. You don't need much at all. And so I took my um, four gallon bucket here. I only got three. So I'm going to just do, do three gallons. With one little cap full of. It's fishy motion. I'm gonna feed my citrus trees because I missed it on Friday. I feed every week on um, bi weekly. I'm gonna do bi weekly, I believe it says, and you can also do it, I believe it's every once a month if you want to. So I do that, and also I also use extra salt to um, and I use uh, iron jelly iron every once a month for my citrus trees and um, vegetables and herbs. So guys, stay tuned. Hey guys, we are back and I just want you guys to see what I did. Take a cap full of my fishy motion here. Oh, my bad, it's the bad of this. And place it into my rainwater here. Four gallon bucket, you only need a gallon into each of your 
containers, your citrus trees, and your fruit trees, and even your vegetables that you grow. Because you use this product here in your vegetables, all purpose organic fertilizer 323. This is and it has my lashes in it. This is a great product, guys. So, I want you guys to start um, right now. If it's spring, if it's a last frost. Get your trees, your, your vegetables, everything fertilized. You only want to use a gallon into in each container. And one little cap full of fish emulsion goes a long way. Yes, it smells a little bit, but guys, it does justice. Look at this. I do my I actually uh fertilize my uh my trees and, and my vegetables by weekly. I miss it on Friday, so I decided to do it today on Sunday and get it done while I had time. Um, so guys, I hope, um, you guys had a great day, great weekend. Please remember to please, please help me out guys and like and subscribe to my channel. Um, very quickly, I wanted to show you guys this product. This is a Lady Mix Potty Mix. This is a, a this is soil you here is great for your plants. If I didn't say it before, for your citrus trees, your blueberries, and your flowers that take that love acidic soil, great uses in your in in this product. Also, I want you guys to do me a favor. Please go follow Organic's best urban gardener, Martin Bouchard. He's a great guy. He knows a lot about citrus. I learned a lot from him. This tree right here, you see, the Swaganella blood orange tree, was given to me. He gave it. He gave it to me. Gave it. Gave, gave it to me as a gift. At the meetup we went to in August of 2017, and um, it had gotten some damage um, from being. It was my fault. I'm a rookie gardener, and so what I did, I actually transplanted this tree from a three-gallon container into a five-gallon container, and um, I did not place it in the right location in my backyard. So it's doing way better, guys. As I am learning, it's grown. And doing much and getting much strength. So remember, guys, from my heart to yours, I hope you have a great Sabbath and a great weekend. Remember, it's time to, to start fertilizing your trees, your vegetables, and everything else that you see here. Everything. So get to work, guys. Spring is here. Shalom. Remember, that's the greatness. And you're Kelly Garner, signing out. You are